Hey guys, it's Emily here with Herbie's Reef and today we got in a, another torch from Cali Kids. Um, I've already opened the box because my dad is at the orthodontist with my sister so I only have one hand to work with if I've got the camera. But this is hopefully going to be a good torch. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but it's a New York NYX which we've been looking for for about a year now I'd say. So you can see it's right here it seems to be open up a little bit in there um and i mean it's hard to tell how it looks through the bag but it seems to be good i think it's all right the flesh all seems on there pretty well and like i said it's somewhat opened in there so i've got it rubber banded onto this piece of styrofoam so that it doesn't like bang around during shipping. So I'll work on getting this acclimated and keep you guys updated. Okay, I'm back again. Um, the torch is still floating, but I just wanted to show you all my dad ordered a ton of snails. Like, look at how many snails there are. I think he ordered 200 snails or something because he wants to get rid of this algae. And hopefully it's not too many because this is a lot of snails. So I'm going to start acclimating them. I think these are some hermits or something. And then we also got these lettuce nuda box and these are the biggest ones I've ever seen. They're massive. And they look really awesome. They seem to be okay. Though this guy over here is kind of like wiggling around and being weird. But they're so cute. I love nuda box. They're they're always so adorable. I wish they were easier to keep because our wrasses always eat them. But I think we're gonna stick them in a tank that doesn't currently have a wrasse. So hopefully these guys will actually survive because they're really cute. And I don't know where he ordered all of this stuff. Maybe he'll tell you like later whenever he gets back from the orthodontist with my sister because he's going to finish the acclimation of these snails. So maybe I'll make him get on and tell you where he ordered all of this stuff. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you all the snails because it's a lot of snails. <laughs> and there's a, these cool little guys. So I'm going to go acclimate this stuff and then I'll come back with the New York mix. Alright, so we've got the New York mix is finished floating and now we're just going to like dip it just, just you know, to be safe because we just typically dip a lot of our corals and it looks really clean so I don't think it has any pests on it but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Um, but you can see like it already looks pretty gold and it's like opening up a little bit like it was in the bag so it seems pretty happy and hopefully it'll be really good. Anyway, I'll update you on the New York next whenever we get it in the tank. And I'm going to show you the Nudibox again because they're so cute. Okay, so here are the lettuce Nudibox. And I've got them acclimating here. I'm going to do like a slower acclimation for them because they are um, more sensitive to acclimating and all of that. And I don't want them to die because they're super cute. Like, just look at that little guy. He's so, like, frilly. Looks like lace all over their backs and they have such cute patterns. Anyway, I texted my dad and asked him like where he bought these and he said that he got them from Reeftopia, I think. So that's where he got all the snails and these guys from. So if you want to check them out, you can. Um, anyway, I'll let you know whenever I get the New York Knicks acclimated back again. And yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Herbie's Reef. Um, today we're gonna do the final update as we got the New York Knicks torch put in here and the tank is looking so good we decided to go ahead and film the final part of this up update now even though the the Knicks hasn't totally settled in so it's not quite as open as I would have liked but we're gonna we will post some more updates of it um, as it opens on our Instagram page and we'll also um, make another video coming up soon but this is it this is the new one and this one is much prettier than the other one we had but we have two that are supposedly new york knicks but i don't think this one really is we bought this from a vendor that we uh, don't shop at very often and it's got different colored tips and it's not near as bright of an orange it's real hard to tell when they're small but this one just looks more like what i've seen in pictures so um and you never know with these until they get bigger, but but I really think this one's going to have the coloration we're looking for, the, the typical New York mix. We got this one from Cali Kids Coral, which is the same place we got these other two torches from. Um, we had 
thought they cut this one a little aggressively and that it wasn't going to survive, but it's done awesome, so I figure they must know what they're doing. They have a pretty good name in the hobby, uh, and they've got a pretty good reputation from what I can tell. So when we saw the Knicks there, we've been trying to get a hold of one of these for uh, probably a year now. So we went ahead and purchased it from them also, and if we end up with two, so be it. We will use the other one in the frag tank and just sell, uh, sell heads a bit off. But uh, I, I really do think the other one's more of a gold, a gold with maybe a green mouth. And then this one's the true thing. Um, and then we thought we might just go ahead and show y'all how the rest of the tank is doing at, while we're doing this video. All the fish are doing well. We still have our, this blue tank uh, was so tiny when we put him in here and it's only been a couple of months and you, he was as small as the blue damsel when we put him in and now you can see he's grown quite a bit and then uh, our copper band is still doing quite well he eats and every night he eats very very well he's gotten much more aggressive he'll actually go and snatch the food out of the bigger fish's mouths now and before he was very very timid but he's done uh, very well and we, he's our favorite fish so i will be so disappointed if he doesn't continue to do well i think we finally have one of these that'll be a success and then uh, the other fish we've added is this uh, selfin tang, and he has gotten big also. I hope he does not outgrow this tank, because technically this tank is listed as a little too small for him, but we like his personality a lot, and he's beautiful. And then our Ghanis are, are nice and puffy today. The amazing Ghani has not ever gotten quite as big as it was prior to us cutting it. I'm sure it will grow back to that size, but it, it doesn't open up quite as well since we cut it. So I definitely am going to try my best not to cut this one again and just to use the, the piece that we got, uh, grow it out as a mother colony for the ones we want to cut. And then on the arch, all of these are getting huge. We love this middle one. It's, it's a bicolor and it's got pink and blue on it and it's getting really big. I'd like to cut a piece of it, but it's so, I don't want to risk this arch trying to take it off, and I have a feeling it's grown to the arch the same way that purple one had. So we'll probably just leave it alone and let it grow. Um, and then the hammers, we lost a few hammers. I, I'm not sure why, but we've lost a few, but these are all still doing quite well. The orange one it has grown a new head on the bottom, and it, it's a tiny bit shaded there, so at some point we may have to trim this one, but I think it gets enough light for now. And then this yellow one is starting to grow new heads on both the bottom heads, so uh, it's going to be huge, and we're just going to let these grow. And then we've got these uh, elegances. You guys let me know which is your favorite. Emily and I argue about this all the time, but we've started dosing trace elements through the reef moonshiners. Uh, formula and I'll have to do a video on that at some point but these things have started just glowing the one in back is very metallic looking and it's got just a I don't know you can see this one from across the room this one's my favorite and then Emily likes this one up front eventually we'll have to take one of these out and put them in the frag tank so you guys let me know which one you like best other than that oh and these Ghanis the tiny ones up front are getting big too this one has probably, I bet it's eight times the size that it was, and we only bought it a month or two ago, so it's just really grown fast. And then this glitter, glitter Ghani is a slow grower. I bet we've had this thing a year, and it's just now to this size, but we love it, and when it gets huge, it's gonna be beautiful. And then this other one's the newest one, and it's still tiny. It's grown quite a bit, but it's still small. And I think that is it for now. We're gonna follow up soon with another update on the frag tank in the back that we just recently switched. It's been going through just the typical new tank stuff. It's had some diatoms, it's had a little bit of dyno. Any new thing we do seems to struggle with dyno. So we're working on getting that improved, but it's almost gone. I'm running all the UV lights again on that tank and we've put two yellow tanks in there. So they have taken, they don't take care of that dyno, but they've taken care of the diatoms pretty well. And uh, Oh, and these snails. Emily was making fun of me and how many snails I bought. But I bought these from a place called Reeftopia, and the price was amazing. You get like 
a hundred snails for 40 bucks and they give you free shipping at $125. So I was trying to get up to $125. So I ended up with 200 snails and 50 hermit crabs. But we've struggled with algae enough that I just want to see if these can take away whatever this turf algae is that I have. And if they do and they end up hungry, I will give them or sell them to other reefers in the area. Uh, or I'll just feed them extra nori and just keep a huge cleanup crew. Um, and I also have four tanks, so we have dispersed all of that through the four tanks, and hopefully they'll be fine. So I think that's it for the update. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what else you'd like to see. Bye. Bye.